We are back at my high school, good old Hermitage High. Well, this is gonna be a different scenery, and there's actually a specific reason why we're back here at Hermitage High School, and as you guys can see, we have plenty of room, open room that is, and I got my five-speed manual Mustang GT behind me, and obviously if you're reading the title of this video and you see the thumbnail, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to drive manual today. What is going on everyone? Derek here today, bringing you another video. Now this video is not gonna be like any other ordinary video I've made, like a typical vlog or anything. And this is actually gonna be like my first how-to guide. And my first how-to video would be how to drive a manual car. For those of you watching this channel right now, there's probably many of you that are already subscribed to the channel and you know what kind of videos I bring to you guys. So Derek Brand Productions is pretty much an automotive based YouTube channel. And with this car, I have a series titled Redo Blue. Now Redo Blue is where I get aftermarket pieces or parts. I film and I install them onto the car so my viewers out there a little idea what they're working with if they're looking for the same part for the same vehicle so pretty much guys the reason why i'm bringing you a how-to video on how to drive manuals because i've had many subscribers maybe younger asking me you know any good tips or anything like that so i think today i have the perfect opportunity have plenty of room and got a couple cameras with me so hopefully we can make something happen and i can help you guys learn What's your youtube channel uh scooter shane Sh scooter <laughs> shane you guys see that so go check out his youtube channel we got a little youtuber here yeah. i could bust a 360. <laughs> so with that everyone i hope i can make this video as simple as possible you know really self-explanatory but the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna jump inside the car and we'll see when we get in there all right so now that we're in the car the first thing that i personally think you should do is definitely get your seat adjusted and just make sure you have the proper amount of space with the clutch and because that all comes into play so right now what i like to do i like to push the clutch in just until it hits the floor and then i like to adjust my seat to where my leg is straight. When I push the clutch all the way in, my leg is completely straight. But this is how I like to do it. Now, it's not gonna be the same for everybody else, but personally, I prefer this. All right, so now that we got our seat adjusted and we have complete control over our clutch, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is push the clutch in. You're gonna start your car. Obviously, you wanna make sure it's in neutral. We got the car started, we're ready to go. And the first thing about driving manual and probably the hardest thing to get used to and to learn is the first gear. And what I mean by first gear is because when you put your car in first gear, this is the gear essentially that gets the car going and this is where the clutch work comes in along with the gas and you know with this it can get a little bit confusing and really struggle and you can end up stalling and you know that's just that's the hardest gear in my opinion so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and put our e-brake down we're gonna take our shifter push the clutch all the way in and throw it in the first so now that we're in first gear we're ready to go and now since I think this is personally the hardest thing to learn I have my GoPro right here what I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna try to get down low so you can see how my feet are working together and I'm gonna keep this view as well so you guys can see exactly what's going on but we're gonna go ahead and jump on the GoPro now so you guys can see exactly how my feet work with the clutch and the gas so we can start rolling so as you guys can see I got the camera now on the dash I got the GoPro in my hand and I'm gonna put this down below between my legs staring at my feet so you guys get the idea all right so we're gonna go ahead and push the clutch in with our left foot as you can see the car is now in first gear and now the first thing you want to do is let off the clutch really slow and you'll begin to feel the car to move now that's called the sweet spot now with the sweet spot you want to apply the gas you don't want to apply too much just enough to let the car keep going and then you keep releasing the clutch at the same time take a look so we have our clutch pushed in I got my my right foot on the brake here. I'm gonna release my right foot off the brake, let go of the clutch really smooth, give it gas, let go, follow through, and as you guys can see, we're now moving. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys from a driver's POV. Here we go, we got the car in neutral, and you can tell it's in neutral, because you can shift the shaker left to right, car is in neutral. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and put our right foot on the brake, left foot is going on the clutch, push it in, Gonna take our gear shifter, put it in the first, and now from here, like I said, we're gonna look for that sweet spot with the clutch foot. We're gonna start to move, give it some gas, keep falling through, and completely release. And as you can see, we are now moving. Let me go ahead and turn this around real quick, and I'll show you guys exactly how to shift. So when it comes time to shift in a manual car, it's pretty much the same thing. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your left foot, which applies the clutch, you're gonna push it in, grab your shifter, pull it into the next gear, release nice and smooth, give it some gas, and you keep on going. All right, again, we're gonna go ahead into third gear, Clutch in, hand on the shifter, into third, release nice and smooth, give it some more gas, and we are good to go. Now let's go ahead and go through this cycle again. Left foot, clutch all the way in, can throw it into first. Now you're ready to go. Release your right foot off the brake, set it on the gas pedal, lightly release the clutch, you start to move, as you can see, you feather it with the gas, boom, super simple and super smooth. So you guys just saw how to start off in the first, shift in the second, shift in the third, fourth, fifth, etc. Now I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when you completely stall out. Car just died, you're gonna have to push the clutch back in and start her back up. Car just died, you're gonna have to push the clutch back in. <laughs> 
so I just showed you guys exactly how I personally learned how to drive manual. Now, when I first started, I obviously had a hard time, just like pretty much anybody else. And my girlfriend Ray here actually knows how to drive manual as well. So I'm gonna hop in the passenger seat. I'm gonna let her, you know, kind of step you guys through it, maybe from a different perspective, and see if that will help you guys understand. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump in, and we'll see what she has. Safety first. So before we start, you first want to adjust your seat. So with this being a stage two clutch, I have to have a straight leg because it is stiff. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this down, leg all the way in, put it in first gear. You're kind of get figuring out what the what the magic level is for your car. Every car is different. Kindly release the the clutch very slowly, and then kind of push in the gas tube, and then figure out that release point and then you catch it. And since this release point is super high, you wanna catch it and then push the gas in. Then you, you're starting off. So if you guys can get it into first and second, then you can get it into third, fourth, fifth, even sixth. And honestly, the hardest part of learning manual is first gear and being on a hill. Okay, so let's say you wanna stop. You're gonna push the clutch in, put it in neutral, let off the clutch, and then push the brake. Then you come to a complete stop. So yeah, that's it. It's a lot of practice and a lot of patience and don't stress you can do it. All right, everyone, so you just saw Ray kind of give you pretty much the same information I did. She does a wonderful job driving manual. And actually, if you guys haven't seen the video of her driving my car and actually banging some gears, click the link right up here. It's actually such a great vlog. It was really fun. And yeah, she honestly surprised me when I first met her because I had no idea she could drive manual. And it is one of those things that you do have to practice indeed. Like first is the hardest it is because you're starting off. But once you get coasting, second, third, fourth, fifth, in this case, it's a five speed. It's super simple. And reverse, you know, it's the same thing as starting off at first. I mean but reverse obviously. So yeah, I know we didn't really film but too much, but honestly guys, it's just one of those things you have to practice. So pretty much everyone, that's our little how-to guide on how to drive a manual. It's rather simple, like I said, I cannot stress this enough. It definitely takes practice. You can't just jump in and expect to drive absolutely everywhere. Definitely find like an open parking lot like this. This is perfect. Go ahead and find yourself a manual car and honestly, my Mustang GT probably isn't the best one to learn on because you know, it does have a stage two clutch and it is a lot heavier than your standard like Honda and you know, etc. Find yourself one of those, come to an open parking lot, give it a try, use the tips we provided, and honestly, it's that simple. I hope this video, you know, my tips and techniques did help, and if it did help you in just the slightest bit, be sure to drop us a like, it means a ton, and you know, maybe I can do some more little videos like how to rev match and how to downshift properly. Who knows? If you want those, drop a thumbs up. But anyways, guys, that's gonna go ahead and conclude today's video. For those of you that are already part of the DBP squad, you know the drill. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like, drop a comment with any questions or concerns. If you wanna say what's up, that's cool too. Today's vlog shout out is going out to New Edge Authority. So if you guys wanna check him out on Instagram, Instagram's right there. And thank you so much for your continued support, man. It truly means a lot. And if you guys want a chance to win a shout out on the vlogs, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Derek Brand Productions and use hashtag DBP squad on all your posts because each video I upload, I pick a winner. Anyways, guys, I will see you Wednesday, 2 30 p.m. Eastern time. But until next time. We'll see you later. Call that, darling. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone.